Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. Today I have another beer from Burial Brewing Company out of Asheville, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called People Power, and it's kind of hard to see the purple on black. Um, this is an IPA, assumedly hazy, because that's pretty much all that they do. Um, 6.5 ABV, and I have it on my phone here. I looked it up, but I knew I wouldn't remember all the hops that are in this because there's five different ones. It is Cascade, Citra, Comet, Enigma, and Vic Secret. Um, I have not had this before. This is a one-off, so uh, it's my first go at it. I'm going to crack it open and see what we got. So you can see it pours a, uh, you know, pretty cloudy golden color with about a finger's worth of a fluffy white head. <sighs> that smells really nice. Um, tons and tons of pineapple juice. <clears throat> Very lightly dank, uh... A little bit of uh, that cat, you know, cat box mosaic character, but it's it's more pineapple than anything. So it is. It is a little bit on like the oniony side. Um, I don't mind that, but I understand, you know, why some people don't like that. But it's also, uh, again, it is making me think of mosaic. But just going back and checking, I'm pretty sure I didn't say mosaic was in this. Nope. Um, but so many of these new hops, like honestly, I feel like all these new hops are basically just a blend of Citra, Mosaic, and Galaxy. Like, that's just kind of what they're reminding me of. But, like, a dirtier version of them. So, it's definitely not sweet and lactose -y, which is a good thing. Um... The bitterness is, I would say, medium to high medium. It's uh, pretty substantial. The only thing that kind of stinks is, like, it's a little watery. Uh, and that's what uh, I kind of put burial on a higher pedestal than a lot of other breweries when it comes to IPAs. Because they usually, I mean, they're not they're not top, top of the line. Um, like, in my opinion, Brew Gentleman is the best brewery in the world as far as uh, <clears throat> mouthfeel on IPAs, but um, this one just kind of, uh, it doesn't have that pillowy soft body. And it is, it is getting more bitter as I drink it. Um, I'm getting a little bit of that piney, um, like, like woody resinous character in the, in the back end as well. So it's kind of transforming from that pineapple to more of that earthy, woody, piney character. I mean, the flavors aren't bad, but this kind of just, in my opinion, it just doesn't have much of a direction. Um, and it's kind of muddled. Uh, and it's just every sip I take is becoming more and more bitter, which I don't, I don't mind bitterness in IPAs, but I want it to have like a very distinct flavor and kind of, uh, balance to it where it's just like this, even if it's bold, this is what it is. This is kind of just muddled and all over the place. Uh, I really, really like the aroma, but the more I drink it, the less I like it, uh, which is kind of, I guess it's kind of a weird thing to say, but, uh. Because usually with IPAs, you kind of get used to the bitterness and then you 
you appreciate the flavor more, but this is kind of going the opposite direction for me. Um, I will say that I was kind of on the boat of every new burial beer I have to buy, but with these last couple, not that, not that any of them are bad, but they just, they're not, um, they're not any better than what I can get locally or even as good as what I can get locally. So there's really no reason for me to seek them out. Uh, I don't want to say that's unfortunate. I mean, it is what it is, but they, they also do make some really amazing beers. Uh, some of their lagers are absolutely fantastic. Um, but their IPAs, you know, like this one, I've had some really, really good ones, but the other ones like this are just, you know, disappointing. So this is, that's not to say that I won't buy another one in the future, but I don't think that they're a, uh, excuse me, uh, an absolute must-get, seek-out type of beer. Um, so given that, uh, my scale of buy, drink, dump, I'm just going to give this one a, uh, a drink. Um, it's still good. It's, you know, it's it's juicy, slightly dank, a good IPA, but uh, there's just a lot better that I can get around here locally, both New England and West Coast, so I don't really have a reason to buy this again. And even, like... Surf Wax, you know, which is their standard IPA, in my opinion, is better than this. So I would rather buy that than this. Uh, so not all one-offs are better. Just understand that. A lot of times there's a reason beers are <coughs> flagships because they really, really worked on the recipe and they perfected it. And that's why they're flagships. A lot of times flagships are better and this is a very good example. So I think that's all I got on this one, though. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to you in the next one. Thanks.